Oh. My mic? There we go. My mic okay. is open. Our Discord's not muted again, right? No, it's not. I checked. I double checked. I made sure. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna have it like an hour into the stream where we realize, oh shit, you may have been muted the whole time. Not today. Hell... Could you imagine they like the entire time they must have thought that you were just talking to yourself? God, no, that would have just... been that was probably really funny. <laughs> they're like, they're like, there's supposed to be another person. Here? What? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, your picture was up and it would move on occasion, but um, mm -hmm. it is also you know minimal movement. Yeah. So I guess if you're not like really looking at it, you wouldn't quite notice it. Yeah. Also, hello everyone! Welcome to the stream! We're getting back to Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D Stardust Accelerator World Championship 2009. It's been so long since we last played this that I do not remember what was happening. Also, I have too many noises going on, I just remembered. I was gonna close out of YouTube the moment we were ready, because I do actually have the game noises on, I don't remember when I did that. Uh, you have game noises on? I do, the game noises are on. I'll be quiet. But that's not important. The game noises aren't important. It's just that way every now and again, because you know how they'll stand still for a really long time during some of the cutscenes, you and I don't know if the game's frozen or not? Yeah, yeah. It's just nice to have the sound cues. <laughs> oh, that's true. I, I didn't even think of that. I was just like... Sound? Who needs it? I just it? hate being Did worried that, you know, the game's frozen. And that we're gonna yeah. lose our progress. Honestly, if that if that ever happens, I think uh -oh. I would just walk out and just be done. Can I please be able to use my controller config? I should have done this a second ago, but I did not think about it. You know what? I also have something I should have done a second ago. Um, give me a second. I'm going to not a fork. I need a crap sp spoon. Grab a spoon. Yeah, I, I grab a spoon real quick. I'm not trying to use all this. Get out of get out of here. I just want to be really. Does the game freeze often? No, no. It's just a in the cutscenes. Why is it not using the controller? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it doesn't. Um. I don't think I had the controller plugged in. Hang on. Let's uh close down the very legit. Yes. Got you uh, more of those drumsticks, finally. I know you're my, my Yay! Wife. I know my ice cream. Is, my, I know my wife has continued to forget about them. Yep. And but, she ate the last one, so I, she yeah, owes I, me. I know. I, and I even told her, I'm like, hey, if you eat this, you have to go buy him more tomorrow. She goes, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. She came back the next day, I'm like, where are the drumsticks? Fuck! The spring on, dude. Like, I can't believe she ate my ice cream and then kept forgetting to buy me new ice cream. Well, there's, I bought two, two boxes, there's 16 total. There. Sick nasty, thank you. You're welcome. Also, uh, my mom's former boyfriend, who, who, whatever, fucking coffee, uh, he's selling me a GPU for half price, Ooh. which means if you still want to build your computer, I do still want to build you my can computer. have my GPU for free. Okay, sick nasty. So that'll save you like $400 on this yep, yep. computer. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, thank God it's working oh, now. The gaming computer. <laughs> That Join means, us! That means uh, while I uh, I won't have to keep stealing Whoa. my cousins. Oh, I forgot she was wearing the securities Whoa. uniform. Also, yeah. I haven't read chat yet. We have uh, chat. Uh, Blinded says, I love your voice. Hello, Blinded. I hope you've had a great day so far. I'm blinded. Chris says, Tulpa! Chris! Welcome to the stream. Hope you've had a good day so far. Hope you're doing well and better. Hope COVID isn't kicking your ass too hard. Uh, does the game freeze often? No, it does not. It just feels that way sometimes whenever we don't have the sound to guide us. Sick nasty, sick nasty. Hey, Jespa, welcome to the stream. Hope you've had a good morning. It's morning for you. Have you slept? What are we doing? I feel like you we know, just I, went through I don't some know. I, I can't really see anything, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, did I forget to switch the window back over? I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I Oh god, why didn't you tell nothing. me? <laughs> I forgot it. Honestly, I got distracted. I forgot. I'm a very distracted person. <laughs> it's easy to get distracted. Also, thank you, Chris. Shout out to Chris for the gifted sub. This is a total of 19 gifted subs to the community now, but this one goes out to our good friend Shimochi K. Hey, let's go, K. 
Kay got the sub. Kay got the sub. I'm trying to remember what the fuck we did last week. I feel like we finally got oh. through the security compound. We did, yeah. And then I think they're having us, uh, Luna and Leo. We have to go find them, I believe. Ugh. God, it had something to remember. do with them. Oh, did we had to battle him. I think we had to duel him. Did to we? Get through. Didn't we have to, to shame, like... Did you know the owner of this joint can't drink? But then why would he own a joint like this? Maybe the rumors are true. Um, if there's a card shop in the area, we should be able to get our fortune read and they'll tell us what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Hey, the kids! If you say 2 a.m. is morning and not midnight, then sure. I think it's morning. Come on, come on, let's go, Effie. It's time to duel- Oh, right, we have to duel Leo! Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> we, we have to fight the child. We're gonna win. I'm sorry, little one. We're gonna kick this kid's ass. Oh, right. Effie's still in the securities. And no, no sleep. Yeah, you should sleep soon, Jess, but it's late for you. Yeah, knock out, man. Oh, geez. Second or first? Oh, um, and we have our good deck back. Oh, we have a good deck? Um, let's go. I want to go first. I'm feeling first. All right, let's go first. Yeah. I'm just excited to have our friendship deck back. Yes! Oh my god, we painstakingly built this deck. <laughs> and it's still not done. Ooh, this will- well, they don't have three yet, but it'll be good to have later on down the line, I think. Yeah, so, um, oh, it's your vampire! Oh, yeah, yeah I, vampire I, lord. We can't summon him yet, though. Yeah, Birthright that's okay. is not terribly important just yet. X-Saber is much stronger currently. <laughs> Yeah, what? do X A, but don't put Twin Barrel unless uh, Leo's got something up because of the special effect. True enough, true enough. We should preserve and that. And that is the end of our turn. Yes, most likely, especially since I have exams this week. Bro, you got exams? Go to bed. Yeah, what the heck? Each time a monster's you, you, battle position, you, you, I know who we're summoning next. Oh, thanks. We're summoning Twin Barrel next. We're getting rid of that field spell. Yeah, no, no fields here. We do not like fields. Unless it's ours. Yeah. Last time we had to deal with the field, it, it took Umi. us like. Mm -hmm. Took us like three streams to get past. I say I that. That's an exaggeration. It. it was two streams. <laughs> that that's still bad though. <laughs> that's horrible. Um, All right. Each time a monster's battle position is changed, place one morph counter on this card. All morphtronic Ooh, monsters gain three hundred attack for each morph counter on this card. Leo, shut up. When this card is destroyed and sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon one Morphtronic monster from your graveyard. We need to get rid of that one right now because on, on the next turn, that is going to be like... Come on, please, please, please. This. Please get this. Please get this, please. Heads, we need heads, to get rid of heads. this. Heads, let's go. Oh my god. Gambling is fun. I don't even know. I'm like, I... Don't worry, I will sleep. Just wanted to come by for a bit and also leave a lyric. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, dog. Also, fun fact. I have alcohol tonight. My cousin bought me some on the way home from work today. Um, so yeah. Uh, take a sip, babes, is a usable... I forget that this bitch does this. It is a usable uh, redeem tonight. Hooray. Granted, what I'm drinking, I think it's relatively weak. Uh. Eh. Yeah, it's not strong. It tastes good. God, I keep forgetting that That's this thing, thing does that. that. It is a good thing. Because I can drink the whole bottle in one sitting. That's the problem. That makes me sound like an alcoholic. Oh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what did he just play? I didn't. Oh, check the trap card. It was a trap card. Yep. Oh, two of them? Um. Good oh. luck in your duels. Thank you, Jespa. Look, those- oh, thank you for the take a sip, Jasper. Those would- that would have been bad if we had left that field spell out. That, yeah, that would have been god-awful. Mmm, tasty. Here, I'll, I'll take a drink, too. I got some alcohol. Hell yeah. Ah, let's get started. Destroy the one face-up monster that your opponent controls that has the lowest attack. If it's a tie, you get to choose. Ooh, we can use uh, this. We can use it? I, I admittingly enough, don't want to use it just yet. Okay. I want to save that one in case he pulls up something really, really strong. Fair enough. Like, if 
like if he tributes something and then like gets like a really powerful monster, I'll want to keep that so we can get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Each time this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, declare one card type, monster spell and trap. Uh, your opponent selects one card of this type from his or her deck and sends it to the graveyard. Also, if this card is destroyed and sent to your graveyard by your opponent's card effect, it is special summon to your field during your next standby phase. And then this one is when this card is tribute summon, destroy one face down card on the field. I think we could go with the Rock Monarch because we could get rid of one of those uh, spells or traps up there. Let's. I think we'll tribute a uh, Twin Barrel Dragon for it since he's weaker. They, yeah, they did. Uh, Dragon did its purpose, so. Which of these two cards would we like to get rid of? Oh, shoot. We got a choice between the left and the right. Mm -hmm. Actually, Tulpa, I tend to trust your intuition more when it comes to picking cards. We'll go right. Because those that. Okay. What is it? I have no oh, idea. Oh, who's a. Tra Wait, what is that? Negate the activation of a spell or trap that would destroy a face up. You know, it's a good thing I didn't use Fisher. <laughs> yeah! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> also, so you picking that card really good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. It's like, it, playing this, it's so nice to just sit here and be like, well, you know, wait, we did not read the, wait, we did not wait, read wait, what wait. that does. Wait, did it cancel? While in attack position, this card can attack defense position once per turn when a face-up Morphtronic monster you control is selected as a attack target and negate the attack. Oh, I think, I think yeah, it'll do they again. Both do yeah, they do that. Shit. Oh no. I okay. guess we're gonna mm -hmm. have to use Fisher next. Okay. Because those can negate our attacks. Mm -hmm. Unless he special yeah. summons something. Tribute summons. Let's see, let's what see. Is this? Oh, I, I thought I thought it was gonna say tuner and I was about to freak out. Mm. Um what are you, you could go six sided die. Oh my Reveal cards from the top of your deck equal to the roll and special summon one level four, a lower electronic. Oh. He didn't even show us any of his cards. Oh. Mech Bunny! Oh my god, it's Mech Bunny. Let's go. Uh actually don't While in defense what position is... once per turn, you can roll a six sided die, look at cards from the top of your deck, equal to your roller and turn them in the same order. Okay, so and it's in defense position, I just noticed not attack position. Yeah. Because whenever okay. this card it was used, uh, all of his Morphtronic mm -hmm. monsters, whenever summoned, can be cha like are changed to face up defense. Mm -hmm. These two are our main problems currently: the Morphtronic Boomboxen. Yeah. Since they can negate our attacks. Mm -hmm. They're our main issue. We won't be able to destroy it as long as that cell phone is up there. Mm -hmm. Um. I think you should pull out Mech Bunny. I agree. Because <laughs> Mech Bunny can at least take care of the cell phone, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what we can do? Okay, here's what we can do. So we can use our X Saber and our Grandmark to mm -hmm. attack at least two of the monsters because these two are going to cancel out two attacks. And then we can yeah. go in with Mech Bunny. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, actually. Wait. It's going to be fine. Because no, no, I think because the boom boxins are more of a threat. Right, but we so, can't take out the boom boxin because well, if we go to attack one of my thing is is use mm, actually you're right. So attack with mech bunny once. Well, yeah. no. Oh no, actually wait. I'm just oh I keep thinking of myself in circles. No, I know what we're doing. I get it. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Go ahead. So it's gonna negate the attack once, mm -hmm. and then we can attack a boom box in, and it's gonna negate the attack, and then we can attack a boom box in, and it can't negate. <laughs> nope. So that's just how it's gonna keep going until he's out of fucking monsters. Yeah. What are you gonna do now, kid? Yeah, kid. You can only. <laughs> You can only have three in your <laughs> deck. You're not gonna pull out another one right now. He might. He could. I don't think no, he will. Please don't. Oh no. Uh, oh wait, no. That 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 doesn't do anything wait. really. He can't summon anything. You can just look at his cards. Yeah. He can only do it if it's his attack position. He mm -hmm. is not gonna respond. 
What is this? Um, that's an attack. Oh wait, no. Now it's going to defense. That's why. I gotta wait till the end of the turn to read it. Maybe. How much time do you need? Man, he tells us to hurry up. While in defense, more. Nope. I was right. I had to wait till the end of his turn to read it. Hey! <laughs> shield crush! Oh! oh, that's really good for us. Wait. Why can't I activate Wait. it? Yeah, why can't you activate it? Uh, while in defense position, Morphtronic monsters on the field cannot be targeted oh! by attack. That would be why. Yeah, the effect of- Wait, but then- That could be active. Oh, wait. Is it making it afterwards? <gasps> Fisher works? What? The one with but the lowest why attack doesn't... is Morphtronic cell phone. That's- It's not worth it. Because that card essentially, like, if it did actual damage to us, it does nothing, but all it is is him looking at the top of his deck. But it doesn't really benefit too much, because, like... No, it does. You want to know why it does? Why? So, what we can do yes. is we can use Fisher and get rid of the cell phone. Okay. And then, once the cell phone's gone, we can attack with one of our two monsters here, and oh. Morphtronic Boomboxing is going to stop it. So then mm -hmm. we're left with our mech bunny and one of our other cards to destroy Boomboxin and Cameron. Okay. So Fisher you... works in our favor here. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> Wait, but doesn't it neg get negated by the... Nope. Oh, okay. Joe says, I don't know where you are since I haven't been in a Yu-Gi-Oh stream since the first one, but yes, thank you. We also have no idea where we are sometimes. And Twice says, hello, how's it going? Hello, how's it going? Hi. It's going good Hi. for me, personally. I've just been playing Final Fantasy and other things today. Woo. <laughs> how's it going for you, Yume? I, okay, so I got off work, right? Like, honestly, work lately has me really irritated. I just recently had, like, the, a schedule shift, right? Mm hmm And, um... I'm I'm starting to get really sick and tired of like my coworkers, cause like it's one thing to be like five ten minutes late, like it's not a super huge deal to me. But my coworker yesterday was uh, about forty five minutes late. Oh my god! And so I was sitting there like, cause it's like sure whatever I get paid overtime, but I had to pick up my sisters. Yeah. My sisters get like, I get off at two. My sisters get off at like two twenty. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's just say that. And he did not come till it was almost 3 o'clock. My goodness. And so uh, I was just like, dude, I, I had to go and get them. And like, oh, is it is it because it wasn't in face-up mode? Uh, no, that... I think it was... I honestly don't know why that didn't work earlier. Also, we're gonna get rid of our bunny. Alright, goodbye, bye, goodbye, bye, bunny. You sure be just... Bye, bye. <laughs> Uh, Chris has redeemed another take a sip. Mm. Thank you very much. I like this alcohol a lot. I'll drink it. Cheers to that. Cheers, don't drink to that, bro. <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry to say, do you mind if I, I'm gonna come right back. Okay. But my family, my family, um, made tripe, so I'm gonna Ooh. go out there and eat it because everyone's clamoring over there. Yo, go eat that it's... tripe. Thank you, man. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. See you when you get back. See ya. I hope, uh, because I didn't say it yet, Joe and Twy, I hope you both have had a wonderful day. One, happy to hear that for you, Talbot, but it's very unfortunate to hear that you may hope that won't happen too many hard times. As do I. I really hope it goes well for them in the future and that people will stop being so horribly selfish because that is annoying. It is very annoying. Can you do anything, Leah? I don't think he can do anything. Oh, nope, he did something. That is the end of his turn. Draw. Hey, Horn of the Unicorn! Been well, thank you. Glad to hear it. Uh, that doesn't do too much for us. 
So we'll just go ahead and do this. And that duel's done. That's the easiest duel we've had in a while. Oh man, that sounds crunchy. Love you guys, you're awesome. Thank you, Chris, you're pretty awesome too. I can't remember if I was doing both of the twins' voices or if Yume was doing one of them. <sighs> it's been so long since we played this. It's been ages. I think it's been a little over three weeks. Maybe more, actually. Probably more like a month. It's been a while. I'm trying to think. Uh... I'm gonna check Discord really quick while we're waiting for them to be back. There wasn't much to check on Discord. I just don't want to play without them. I don't want them to miss anything. Yu-Gi-Oh! Jodoro. I'm scrolling through Twitter now. Mm. I'm trying to think about games I might start streaming. Uh, I know I got, I, I've brought this up already, I got some games for Christmas from one of my friends. And I've definitely already played one of them. I'm bad at it. Um, but that one was getting over it. I played that earlier or I think I played that last weekend. Um, I also have received Tattletale, which is a horror Christmas game with Furby-esque creatures, which I think are neat. Uh, I want to play that one at some point, but I'm not sure when I'll be playing it. Eh, what else? I don't think I've gotten too many more new games. So yeah, getting over it. Yep, I'm bad at it. I don't think I've gotten too many more new games, um, but I am going to be looking into getting some new games that have been recommended to me. Um, it's just a matter of like which games. Because I don't remember which all ones. I remember some of the ones that were recommendations. Um, I just don't know which one will be the first one I try and get. I'm thinking maybe 12 minutes. I've seen a little bit of somebody playing that. I think it was Chris. Uh, but it was very good. It seemed very cool. It's got William Defoe in it. And others. Um, but it seems very interesting. It's very much at least like a choose your own adventure kind of game. Like your choices matter and the outcomes. Oh, hey, welcome back. I'm just rambling. No, I'm, I'm listening to you though. I'm listening to you. <laughs> I was waiting for you to come back. <laughs> Oh, wait, you beat him? Oh, nice. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's crying. Oh, he's crying. <laughs> it, didn't, it wasn't very hard. As much as I love Leo, he's a baby. He's my baby. But, uh, he's very bad at dueling. Poor Leo. It's like even just like canonically in the show, he's like really bad at dueling. <laughs> Does he at least get better? I don't like, know. Because I know, like, at the start of Zexo, you, uh, Yuma was super bad at dueling. Well, yeah, like, but then he, he was... got Astral's help, you know? Oh, well, that's true. Leo doesn't have an Astral. He does not. He doesn't even yeah. have spirits. That's his sister. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dang, that sucks. But I kind of remember if you voiced Luna, so I just wanted to wait for you to come back. <laughs> also, so you didn't miss anything. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, I voiced Luna, right? Wait, that was I what think said? so. Okay. All right, uh -huh. I'm here for it. I lost. Oh wait, <laughs> I forgot I was clicked out of the game for a second. You're such a crybaby. Come on, it's okay. You did your best. Anyway, I... thanks for dueling with me. 
oh, hey, that's right. You want to go to the Underground Duel <laughs> Arena together? Yes. The really interesting thing I was talking about is there. No way, you shouldn't go. If that's what they say is true, you can't beat the witch. I can beat the witch. We could beat the witch. We won't know if we don't try. Effie. At the Underground Duel Arena, that's... There's this duelist down there, they call the witch. I don't know what her real name is, though. I was thinking about taking her down. I say this whole thing about the witch is just a rumor, but Leo, listen to me. Don't you want to check it out, Effie? Come on, let's go! Vroom vroom. <laughs> vroom vroom. It, that game seems pretty fun. I've seen some people play that. 12 minutes, that is. 12 minutes is good, but just try to avoid any spoilers. Yes. It's been a while what? since I've watched anyone play 12 minutes, and even then I didn't watch it all the way to the end because I was worried about spoilers. Yeah. Eh. So I don't remember too much. All I remember is Willem Dafoe was in it, and he's neat. Damn, Aww. I can't believe he's in the game. Huh? Ooh, wow. William Dafoe? Yeah. Ooh, speaking of, have you seen the new Spider Man movie? I have not. Oh, it's not so yet. Good. I was actually gonna watch it, but I think my sister went ahead and watched it without me. So now I'm just kind of at a loss because I was gonna watch it with her. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. It's a good movie. I highly recommend it if you get the chance. Okay, okay. I think you'll watch the one that came before that. The one so... before is Homecoming, I believe. I've watched Homecoming. I'm pretty sure I've watched Homecoming. It's a good one. I wonder what the witch is like. You don't even know that? How should I know? I've never met her. Which one are you talking about? I don't know. Whoa! Oh my god, a CG. <laughs> Your sister watched it without you. That's an it too, Brute moment right there. It really is. See, here's the thing. Like, she'll ask me to watch movies only because she'll know if, like, uh, I go with her to the movies, I'm paying for everything. Mm. That happened when she asked me to go watch the Demon Slayer movie with her. She meant, like... Because I, I paid for her ticket, I paid for her friend's ticket, and I paid for her friend's brother's ticket, as well as mine and our other sister's ticket, and I also bought them all the food and everything. Yeah. So, like, that's the only reason why she ever asked me to go to go anywhere, and I knew it was going to be like that, too, but it was just Man, like, you know annoying. what? Yeah, no, like, did I ever tell you about, like, the first time I ever bought a Korean corn dog? Because they just opened up this place here where um they can make, or, like, it's a... It's a restaurant that makes Korean corn dogs. Yeah. And I got a corn dog from there and I was gonna save it for when I got home. I get home, I say hi to my sister. My sister's like, oh, I'm so hungry and everything like that. She sees my corn dog. She's like, I never had that before. Can I try it? I'm like, yeah, sure. I hand it to her. She takes a huge bite out of it. She bites like a third of it. Oh my and God. Uh, mind you, it's a big, thick corn dog. Yeah. And she's like, oh, this is pretty good. But she also criticizes me because I chose sweet chili sauce on the corn dog. Well, that's and she's like, good. why would you? She's like, why would you get this? I'm the like, sweet and savory offset. Yeah, I'm like, Avery, I'm Asian. We're Asian. Of course, I'm going to pick the Asian sauce. <laughs> Plus, and sweet like, and savory is just a good flavor combo. It is, honestly. It's so good. Well, I, I, I wouldn't know that because I didn't get to eat it. God. But it sounded good because my sister really liked it, and she took another huge bite out of it. And she's like, oh, this is so good. Can I just have the rest of this? And I was just like, you know what? Just take it. Just take it. You can oh have my it. Oh, God. It was the first time I ever had a cream corn dog. And you didn't even get to eat it. I did it. That's horrible. I got to buy it. My and I got to pick this. <laughs> my little sister <laughs> don't even ask for my food. She'll just try and take it from me. Oh my god, my little sister Ava <laughs> does that shit. I brought over, like, um... Oh wait, how old I is bought... Ava? Ava is 11. Yep, okay, so my younger sister is 12. Oh, okay, so they're about the same yeah. age. <laughs> Freaking, my sister Ava, like, I once brought home her chocolate. She's 12! After, she's 12? I thought she was, oh wait, you're 11, <laughs> Addison. Wait, no, Ava's 12, Ava's 12. Mm. I, I, let me, let me, let me backtrack, she's 12. Yeah. But, like... Freaking, I bought horchata because I came home from work, mm -hmm. right? I bought a horchata because there's a there's a taco truck that works. 
horchata, like I love horchata personally. Horchata for me is really good. It's mm. like a it's a sweet rice drink and it's very good. To I've me. heard about it. Um, right. I think my theater would get mad at me for not having had it before. You should you should try it. Sometime. I would really get the your dad's raising you white talk again. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Like this summer, this summer you are getting some more chata. <laughs> yeah. We'll we'll make it so your your Tia could never say that ever again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll, we'll stuff you with nothing but Mexican food. <laughs> Hell yeah! Well, we're also getting uh, Korean. Remember? Yes! Oh my god, I'm so excited for the Korean barbecue. Okay, oh my on. god! Hi, Hi, guys... First Hi, time song. chatter. Oh yeah, Looking first chat. time chatting. Uh, sorry, we, I've been neglecting chat. Uh, Joe says my ping is above five and my computer is dying. What the hell is life? And then do sisters just do that because my sister does that with my fries all the time? Usually whenever I'm eating food and my little sister tries to take it, it's my french fries. It usually gives her a slap on the hand. <laughs> I I tend to give my sisters whatever like I'm eating. Like if I'm eating and they ask for it, like I don't even argue. I'm just like, yeah, go ahead, have as much as you want. Mm -hmm. But it, it kind of backfires on me because then then they just they just take whatever they want. Yeah. Like usually, if I have some left over that I don't want, I'll give it to my little sister. I it's, love that it's funny she's twelve. I do that all the time with my younger brothers. I forget their ages. I don't mean to forget their ages. It just happens because like I have like time goes too my fast brain is just now. Like, they're growing up too fast. I can't stand it. It's like, why don't you just stay little kids forever? Yeah, for just real. stop. Like, just stay my, my... little? Dude, like, I have to think about it, because in, like, starting in, like, the fall, my sister will be, like, this year, my sister is going to turn into a senior in high school. Oh I, I cannot, my brain cannot process that. I honestly refuse to believe it. I'm like, no, she's not. Oh, my God. No, she's not. It's too soon. Stop it. It's too soon. I can't do soon. this. I remembered um, the other day that I'll be turning 22 in March. <laughs> the me right now, next week, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, happy damn. birthday. You know what's <laughs> fucked up about how I'm like 22? Almost. What? My little 12 year old sister, my youngest sibling, is almost overtaking me in height. Bro! Bro, you're so lucky you're not even <laughs> at that point yet, cause Bro, my she's sister, like an inch away. My sister an hour ago when we were in the kitchen together, like she put her her head, you know that thing, like her hand, like and it goes over my head. Yeah. Like, you know, like that height thing. Mm -hmm. She did that to me when I went to go get something in the fridge and she and I was like, What are you doing? She's like, Oh nothing. And I'm like, I get it, you're taller than me. I get it. Oh, thank you for the follow song. Song? Song, thank you for yep. the follow. You weren't following already, Song? Oh my gosh, Song oh wasn't God. following? Oh my god. Song, song how song. could you? Song. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I totally get it. I forget my own age recently. Oh yeah, no, the passage of time is just so, so fast now. Like, it's just going so fast. It's hard to remember anything anymore. It needs to stop. I agree. But not stop as in, like, uh, you know, ending, but stop as in just slow the fuck down, please. Let us breathe. Let us breathe. Like, give us some I air. Think, I think it also has to do with the fact that, like, everything's in, like, a shutdown mode. Oh, true, true, so, true. So, like, time, like, growing up is a lot different, mm -hmm. and time doesn't feel right. Like, usually you have those events in the middle that solidify that everybody's growing up, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like I but was, we don't... I was in college whenever everything started slowing down. Bro, same. Like everything, like I couldn't go to school for like two years because everything was shut down. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not doing school. I dropped I out guess of I'll school just... right before they announced that everything was, you know, shutting down. Damn. Yeah. That was uh, shortly after you and I met. Oh shoot! <laughs> Man, time flies. I know, Come what on. the f- I wouldn't have thought about that, I was like, wait, hold on! Yeah, no, what? you and I met in, uh, 2019, just before everything started happening. That's insane! Mm -hmm. That's honestly insane. It really is. Was it 2019 or was it 2018? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it was 2019. It was 2019. I, I think it was 2019, after that everything was, uh, that happened- Yeah, that was, uh, I'm three years ago now. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> no! Man, that was some crazy time. Those were- 
that insanity. I, mm -hmm. I can't. Speaking of, um, we've been neglecting our game. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Th there she is, <laughs> the witch. It's the witch. Holy shit, it's the witch. Oh my god, it's the witch. That's a very nice outfit just to wear out. Honestly, except for the sleeves. Like, I don't really like her sleeves. You don't like the sleeves? I don't like the puffy sleeves. Like, if there's one thing I have an issue with, it's her sleeves. Oh, yeah, I forget about this. Oh, wait. A strong jolt of lightning runs through your head. A fragment of your memory is returned. Oh, shit. The mark. That was like three years ago. That's a terrible thought. Isn't it just? I can't. Dude, I saw a video on YouTube that said 2010. I'm like, that isn't that old, right? Mm. And I thought about it for a second. It's I was 12 like, years ago. that's 12 years ago. We're Why? Old, man. All right. Do you do you want to read her? Or do you want me? To you read can read her. Okay. <clears throat> what what is like a good voice? E okay. <laughs> no wait. Sorry. What are you what are you hiding under that hand? You know what? That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Were you I thinking was just gonna something say like a prim and proper sort of uh, voice? Oh, so falsy? So, like, British, oh. right? Yeah, yeah. Song is playing. Shout out to Song, who you guys yeah. couldn't see the notification, but shout out to Song, who's playing Vroid Studio. Uh, shout out to Song for Vroid Studio. Shout out to Song. Oh, it's Song. And that's the mark of the Crimson Dragon. You also have this wretched power? It has to be banished. Hey, Song, you can't call us stalkers. We're friends on Steam. Yeah, what the heck? Okay, you know what? I guess I guess, <laughs> I guess stalkers we're not, I guess, are friends on Steam. I guess we're not friends on Steam anymore. <laughs> I'll, I'll go take you off my friends list right now. So sorry. I'm, I'm already doing that. <laughs> oh, I, can't, I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. I didn't realize we were stalkers. <laughs> Wow, Akiz is just throwing us into a duel, huh? Prepare to duel. Yeah, I guess. That power. You can't have that power. I mean, in line of the story, like the actual canon story of the of the anime, she's correct. We can't have that power. It's not feasibly possible. Yeah, unless we like kick somebody out for that power, and I would like to think we didn't, because I already like mm -hmm. all the characters i mean i could tell you spoilers no i won't tell you spoilers i have to watch it so i'm i'm on episode 50 something of r5 oh my god right now. Our card. it's final countdown oh, shit, oh my god we gotta use it we have to we use, have to use it it doesn't even matter we need to. like it doesn't matter if this duel is gonna last over 20 rounds we have to wait. use it wait Oh wait, no. I thought I thought she played the card that we had on the left side. On that trap card right there. Trap right there. That Oh no 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 no. It was right on the left of Final Countdown, I mean. Oh, 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 Cemetery Bomb. That's a fun one. Yeah, I thought she had that and I was like, <laughs> oh no, are we just going to get completely destroyed? No, no, like... no. I'll go ahead and set that though. That's a fun one. Yes, yes. Uh, I'll also do trap hole. We mm -hmm. have to do final countdown. I don't care. We have to. We have to. We have to just for gets and shiggles. Like if it's in our hand, we have to play it. It's the law. And All we'll right. cast Gemini Elf. Cast Ooh. Gemini Elf. What the fuck is wrong with me? Cast Wait, Gemini no, Elf. Gemini Elf is a spell caster, so that was a really <laughs> we'll good summon. <laughs> Wait, what? It's a pun. Oh, she's it's a spell God. oh my God, it's you're right. Caster. Yeah. Speaking of spellcasters, you saw her already, but um, my friend got me Dark Magician Girl for Christmas, and she came yes. in the mail the other night. Ooh, Dark Magician Girl. Like your model is like her. The, she's just really cute. She is so cute. I love. Her. I love Dark Magician Girl. Hey, hey, so lucky. what is Whoa. that? Wait, wait, Bitch. wait, wait. hey. Hey, hey, get that hey, out of here! Hey, hey. Stealing our monster. The nerve. Oh my god, no. I can't believe. Our monster, she's back! Oh, thank goodness. Wait, what does oh. Mark of the Rose do exactly? Like, what Mark happened? Mark of the Rose. Um, 
Remove from play one plant type monster from your graveyard and equip this card to a monster your opponent controls. Gain control of the equipped monster during your end phase. Give control of the equipped monster back to your opponent. Dear, oh, she's gonna get our monster back. Oh, Luckily, so it's gonna be a it doesn't card. seem like destroying the card does anything in specific to our monster. It's, but the question is, how do we get rid of it? Um, we'll have to get a card for it. So I elect that we play Mech Bunny. Yeah, that sounds good. So that way she can't deal us any damage, and we'll get another defensive line back after mm -hmm. Mech Bunny's gone. You know, I think that's a pretty yeah, solid plan. Yeah, it'll it'll be a good stall for like the next like two three turns. <laughs> yeah, because we'll we'll find a way how to get or we'll find a way to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. Do we have Harpy's Feather Duster? I don't believe I think we do. do. Okay, okay, that's that's a card that I hope we're able to get at some point. Haha, <laughs> you've activated our Mech Bunny. Yeah, <laughs> dude, Mech Bunny always coming in clutch though. Mech Bunny like, is such it... a good card. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes, I would. Thank you. All right. He's back. There we go. Now try it. Try it. Just you try it, bitch. We dare you. <laughs> and look at that. Your field's all empty. Not a monster to help you. you hey, Fisher. Which doesn't help us here. Yeah. Warrior Tuner. Ooh, wait. That's a level four monster. This is a level three. What do we have? So <laughs> we have Psychic Life Transfer. Ooh. And that's our only level 7, so that's the only one we'd be able to summon. But she'd lose control of our Gemini Elf. Oh, that's good. That'd be really good. And right. I don't think she has another Mark of the Rose, so we can just do that. Nope. And she doesn't have anything in her um, graveyard to sacrifice it for, so. Haha. <laughs> Goodbye! Goodbye, bitch! We took care of that. No monsters for you. What is this? No, our what? monster! What? I hate, I hate it here. C cemetery bomb her, I'm done. No For only mercy. 200 points of damage? Oh wait, no, never mind, never mind. I thought it was like a continuous trap, honestly. No, no, it's a one-time trap. I am, okay. however, going to summon Fisher. I'm gonna set Fisher. <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> Are you ready, ready? Uh, it's okay, it's you okay. Can, you're gonna- okay, you're gonna- You're gonna have to leave your games, cause you're gonna have to do it, ready? Set. You hear that? You don't have to leave your games, Pulpa. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope. No, oh, uh, you may get rid of yeah. our bunny for now, but he'll be back. You can't keep him down, bitch. That's our bunny. He'll be back. For revenge. The bunny- I guess you could say the bunny will- Bounce back in! <laughs> He'll hey? bounce back better than ever. Yeah, there he is, another oh. one. Yes. No, it's not yeah. worth it. Just hold on, dude. Yeah. Are we really gonna beat her in one go? I honestly th thought we were gonna have more trouble than this. Yeah, like... I am going to use Fisher, though. I would like to get rid of that plant. Yeah. <laughs> And then we can also flip over Mech Bunny because it's the last Mech Bunny. Yep, yep. If you want to do that. No, oh, no, yeah, that's no, we good, would. That's a good strat. Yeah, we Which... would beat her. Also, the 500. Oh, yeah. 500. So, <laughs> nope, we're not going to chain that. You know what? <laughs> oh, exact damage. You know what? Oh. <laughs> we're going to deal as much as possible. You're gonna deal we're going to take this bitch for all she's worth. <laughs> Yeah, haha. -ha. <laughs> Fuck with our Gemini it elves does. again, bitch. See what happens. Yeah. See what happens. This is what I was awaits you. Man, we're popping off today. Honestly, like, what the we hell? We haven't struggled once yet. Alright, so, and you're like, home base, you ready? Oh, and look at all that DP we've got. Do we always have that much? Like, Okay, I really? Wait, we. Uh, you like, you like oh, maybe it's because we really got to spend it anywhere yet. Oh, true you just enough. We haven't been able to. Other... Yeah, there isn't a card shop we can visit yet. Yeah. After I what she get did to see... Synchro Monster, she brought it upon herself. Honestly, after what she did to our Gemini Elves. Exactly. She took our Gemini Elves, she destroyed our Psychic Life Transfer. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you want from us? She deserves like, it. We... 
We couldn't even activate our final countdown. Like, we didn't even get to see it go to the end. Like, We've never seen upbeat. final countdown go to the end. It's just the moment we get it, we use it, and then we end up winning the duel every day, every damn time we use it. Why? It's like we use I it as an assurance that we won't have to lose, and then we end up winning before the time's even up. Yeah. You could have been more of a challenge, Akiza. Yeah, Akiza. Get good. Fucking dog and hunter. <laughs> I know. Like, God, I love her high low dress though. It is like, very the pretty. high lows. Are cool. I just wish she had different yeah. sleeves. Like, I love those sleeves, but I could understand that. Like, I feel if she had like the. Okay, so I might be of one mind on this, but I like the three quarter sleeves that are just ever so slightly puffed. Or even just bringing it like all the way down to the wrist in that same yeah. manner. I think they're called like, bishops. Is the style? Okay. I think I would need a reference for that because I'm I'm not Let sure. Me look. Okay. Let me look really quick. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Like, I just think it would suit her very nicely, especially right. being the way that she is. I don't want to look at a dress. Wait. I just want like a picture of a shirt with the sleeves, please. Thank you. Yay, I wanna <laughs> like, I just think they see her character type, honestly. Please don't save as a weird type. Hell yeah, it's a JPEG. Let's go. Here, let me send this to you, you may. I think it should be this. Yep. Oh, those are pretty cool. I like those. Like, I think they'd suit her a little bit better. Like, the puff sleeves that she has now are okay. Uh, they're not my particular cup of tea. Um, but I think that those, just given her character, would suit her a little bit better. I get you. I guess they wanted to make room for how she has, like, those, those gloves. Oh, yeah, her gloves. That's True probably enough. why they didn't do it like that, because they wanted to make room for all that. I mean, you could still do that style of sleeve, but also make it, like, open. Cause like, oh, I would think, that could slip? Yeah, I think that style of sleeve also looks really nice that way. Okay. What's up with her? She scares me, Effie. I cannot tell you, my boy. <laughs> Can you guys turn it down over there? Sorry. Thank you. So that's the witch. Wow, to think I was planning to go up against that. Honestly, Leo, after that pathetic duel she put up, you could have done much better than her. Yeah, that was... Like, Leo gave us a little bit of a challenge, at he least really at the did. beginning, with, like, the and stuff. He did! Akiza was, like, no challenge right out the gate. That makes me sad. It's like, what are they trying to say about... Actually, never mind. <laughs> Every Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> female character up until 7th as, like, a really bad rep for not, like, winning any duels. I mean, it's Akiza, sad. I can't remember if Akiza's won any duels. I feel like she has. She has. Um, not against Yusei, of course, as he is the protag, but um, yeah. she's won duels. Like, we've seen her win duels. Okay, that's good. Because I'm watching I'm watching Arc 5 right now. You have no idea how many times they the story betrays me because I keep hearing people say, Oh my god, the girls get so much spotlight, they get so much character development, they're such good duelists. And I'm like, okay, so they must treat them really well and blah blah blah. And whenever I watch it, I'm like, oh my god, I hope Yuzu wins this one. And she doesn't fucking win. Oh because they want to steamroll through her. It's like, can't you give her a break? Horrible. It's, it's terrible. Effie, is your arm okay? Did you get hit? Really? I guess if you say so. Well, we should get going. See ya, Effie. Take care, Effie. I love the I love the kids. Their hair. I like Leo's hairstyle. Um, Luna's p pigtails are too far forward on her head. I think. Yeah. Um, but also like looking at how their hair is so like blunt and how it falls in their particular hairstyles. I don't know if their hair would be incredibly like just one layer or if it's many layers, but it only looks good whenever it's up. Oh, I think I understand what you're trying to say. Like, like, would it, like, 
I can't really explain it. Like, I wonder but if they I, cut they their hair themselves, because whenever we see them at home, it looks like it's just the two of them. Yeah. So they probably just have, like, really, like, when they put it down, the hair is just, like, layered. Yeah, just choppy. Yeah. Uh, Twy says, no, definitely not. Yuzu had a lot of potential, but she didn't do much in the end. Damn. She deserved Wait. a much bigger role. Same with Alexis and Aki and Aoi, but it bothered me more with Yuzu. Oh my god, okay, let me say this real quick. Aoi literally deserved the entire fucking universe, and they did her so fucking- They did so many characters in Brains Dirty, okay? Like, they did the main character Yusaku fucking dirty. They did I and Aoi so damn dirty. I'm actually- Brains made me so fucking upset. I just had to say that for a moment. I'm so sorry, but like- Yeah, that's fair. Holy hell, I've never been more upset. I've never been more upset with, like, any Yu-Gi-Oh than I have with Reigns, because they have so many good, like... Like, I love this cast of characters. Like, I, I love Yusaku and Aoi and I a lot more than I end up loving a lot of the other, like, main characters of, like, the Yu-Gi-Ohs. Mm -hmm. Excluding, like... Actually, no, I can't even say excluding Zexel, because my main point of, like... My favorite, like, protagonist of Zexel would, you know, being Astral. Like, yeah. Yuma doesn't really... Yuma's okay-ish for me, but Astral just, just, like, brings it up. He's He's... I mean, he gets better, but it's, like... It, he's really grating. And he gets better later on, and you understand where he's coming from and everything. Mm -hmm. But it still isn't, like... Like, Astral hit it. Yeah, but, and I feel like without Astral, Yuma just wouldn't have had any sort of, like, growth or progression. Honestly. Oh, Absolutely, without Astral, like, Yuma just would have been stuck in his rut forever. Mm -hmm. Like, the person that literally, like, changed and fixed his whole life was Astral. Yeah. Oh my god, okay, okay, I can't, I can't wait for you to get a very specific part in Zexel. There's a very specific part in Zexel that just... Oh my god, that has to do with that, but I'm not gonna say anything afterwards, but... Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm thinking about it right now, makes me so happy, oh my god. Twy says, I like the characters in Brains, but in the end, a lot of the duels were pretty redundant. Yusaku versus Revolver versus- and Yusaku versus Boma. Honestly- Honestly, yeah. Uh, yeah, like... A lot of the duels in Brains felt like they didn't really- They didn't really make much sense. Um, I know I was watching a Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything video where they discussed about it in length. And I think one of those was like the Soul Ver oh, I think it was Soul Burner versus Aoi, mm -hmm. in which uh, Soul Burner didn't need to win on Aoi. Like he was already like a really good duelist and everything like that. Like you know he was already slaying it out there. So for him to just take that from Aoi, like I felt like a lot of duels that Aoi had, she should have just won. Yeah. If I'm gonna be real with you, but you know fuck women I guess. But anyway, like. A lot of the duels in Brains weren't super great, and it really doesn't help because I don't feel- I didn't feel like Link's summoning was as well explained as I would have liked it. Mm -hmm. Like, I- I watched it, and I'm still confused on how to Link summon. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah. Twice as Soul Burner really, uh, literally repeated the start of Yusaku Season 1. Honestly. I'm trying to think about it, did he? Because I'm, I'm trying to remember, because like when... When he gets introduced and everything, Takeru, Soul Burner, however, like... However I'm trying to remember him. that. Because I didn't... I think season two was one that I didn't remember as much. Like, I remember most of uh, season one and then like season three. But season two is like a part where I got really fuzzy on because I think while I was watching it, like that season specifically was like a really like you know how you watch things in the background, right? While you're yeah. doing something else. That was that was the season that I watched in the background while I was doing something else. I wasn't nearly as focused, so I can't really remember too much. But if that's true, then oh my god. Like Brains wasn't very well written if I'm a read. I just- I just enjoyed it because I- I love those three characters that I've mentioned before. Mm -hmm. But... Mm, that sucks. It sucks if it's really true, like... And I don't doubt it's true, but like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm- I'm so glad, honestly, that like, Sevens took a different approach. Mm -hmm. Um, I haven't finished Sevens yet, 
um, Sevens is going to end in March, actually. Oh. Um, I really hope I could catch up with everything and finish it soon, because, like, um, I heard that, because you know how earlier you were talking about how, like, Ak uh, Akiza doesn't lose against, uh, Yusei? Well, she does Because he's the protagonist? Yeah, she loses uh, against no, win. Him. Yeah, she doesn't win I mean, against him because he's the protagonist, and th their fight is, like, uh, I think it's a crux of the story, honestly. Yeah. Like, the funny thing is, when you mention that, like, um, I was watching a Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything video in which he says that there are only four times in which the main protagonist has ever lost to a female character. The f first time was in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! in which Yugi surrenders to a possessed Teya. Yeah. And then in Arc 5, when uh, Yuya loses to Yuzu because uh, he forgot to Pendulum Summon. Mm -hmm. And the third and fourth time, uh, Yuga, the main character of Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens, loses to the main girl, Roman. Mm -hmm. And then he loses over to one of the main, to one of, like, the antagonist, uh, Asana. Yeah. So, like... And, like, the first two times were kind of, like, bluffs. The second two times with uh, Yuga were integral to the story. Yeah. So that kind of tells you about how Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens handle its, its female characters. A lot better than all the previous ones. Because I don't know that Jaden in GX ever lost to a female character. I remember he lost uh, in season two or three? Mm -hmm. It was season two. It was a pretty crucial part of the story. So, like, he had to lose uh for uh what happened next to be possible uh, i see i see uh twice so twice talking about soul burner i believe and says i think his first duels were the same as yusaku random person go aoi just like yusaku oh my god <laughs> oh my god that's crazy they, that, that's lame as heck if they did that is so lame that they had to do that i mean unless there's I a know, reason for it I mean, would there? Because, like, I'm trying to think. I know nothing about brains. Think, I, like, I would understand it if it were, like, uh, if it were either Revolver or I, because, like, there would be, like, a parallel, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't think Soul Burner is necessarily a character that needs to have parallels with Yusaku. So, it would seem more story, like, it would seem more important focusing on the parallels if it were either the main rival or his partner character. But Soul Burner isn't either of those characters. So, that's really weird that they did that. It's also pretty uncreative. Yeah. Also, they didn't have to fucking do that to Aoi. They really fucking didn't. I'm, I will forever flame about that shit. She deserved everything. I. Mm. I'm mad. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm mad. No, I don't mean to be mad about Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Gi is easy to get upset about. This is- it isn't even the Yu-Gi-Oh! that we're playing. It's <laughs> completely different. You- you haven't even watched it. It's to be just fair, like you and I are both like, pretty hazy on the events of this particular Yu-Gi-Oh! Just because I haven't finished it yet and you haven't watched it yet. Yeah. So like, this is our weird like, gray area. This, like, yeah, this is like- cause. You, you, we both watched the original. Mm -hmm. You watched GX. Yep. We haven't really finished. Like I, I've, I've never watched a uh, Five Bs. You aren't finished with it yet. And then from like Zexel or Five Reigns is like that's your domain. my meat and mm -hmm. So it's like this is the one part in which it's like, what are we doing? Yeah, here? we're both like, like pretty what hazy on this one. We're like, um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess. I think it's good that we picked this one then, because it's like, we're both somewhat equal in the regard of like the story and everything. I mean, you you know more than I do, mm -hmm. but it's like, we're, we're, we're not like too overwhelming on one another about it. Right. Because I'm pretty sure if this were like, if we were playing a Zexo game, for example, I would just overwhelm you with everything. I'd be like, oh my I god, this Zexo has- Zexo game. Oh, what? For the 3DS, I think. Well, Oh man, I want- I think I know the one that you're talking about. Is that, uh, the World Duel Carnival? Maybe? I played a little bit of it whenever I bought it, but I haven't touched it since. I don't remember what it is. But I, I feel it, like I'm it's scared. Zexel. Ah. Uh, also, Song has told us to hydrate. Um. Okay. Um, um, I have coconut juice and I have game fuel, but I'm gonna take the coconut juice. Yep. Um, I don't- 
Uh, we'll say this is water. Sure, this is water. Bruh. Hydrated. What are you? <laughs> Bruh. What are you drinking the wine? Mm-hmm. I don't have water in the office, and I don't feel like walking out to get any. You know what? Fine, I'll walk out. You want water, right? <laughs> no. Do you want it with ice or without ice? With ice. It's gross without. Okay, I got you. I'll Thank be right you. back. I agree, so I'm hydrated, I drink. I say as I drink wine. Um. <laughs> also, Song, I saw earlier that you said something in the GC. Um, I, I would type this, but also I don't want to. Um, hydrate or die straight. Ah, oh, damn it, you got me there. I guess I gotta go get water. But anyways, so. Uh, oh, I already got you the water. Uh, thank you. <laughs> mm, tasty. Um, <laughs> but you can turn off the um, the visibility of those two thingies, so they won't show up on your stream, on your screen. Assets. They're called assets. Sources? You click, like, the- you click the eye, the eye in which the source is located at, yes. so the name of the source. Like, if you named it after us, mm -hmm. then you would- you would press the eye to close it on, uh, Tulpa and Yume. Yep, yep. I- I- I didn't even think about you not knowing how to turn it off, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought it was like, hilarious oh, like... as well, but then I was just like, wait, they wanted to stream. I completely forgot that they said that they wanted to stream. I was gonna say something about it earlier, but it slipped my mind. It jumped over my head because I'm dumb. It like <laughs> went. It went over me. I was like, "What?" I also wasn't sure what you were using, but looking at it again, it looks like it's OBS, which is what I'm using because mm -hmm. I'm too lazy to learn how to use Streamlabs. Oh, don't use Streamlabs. They um. Did you not hear the whole drama between? Oh, uh, I did. Streamlabs? I did. Oh, yeah. I I was never gonna use Streamlabs in the first place because it uses up too much CPU. In anyways. Yeah. So I'm happy with OBS. <laughs> We've neglected our game yeah. again. Oh my god, let's get back into the game. <laughs> a few days later. Oh my god, later. We're just staying in the bar? Oh no, what are we supposed to be doing? Wait. What can I mean, they we're not just fugitive. Threw us into this. We are fugitive. I mean, but we were let go out of jail. Joe, so, Rosine, take like... a sip, babe. Thank you, Joe. Uh, is oh the my shop? god. <gasps> the card shop! <laughs> We got our cards! Let's go, let's go, bye, 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 we gotta... We need to buy cards. I feel to like, also, cards. last time we were playing, we got at least two new packs that we couldn't do anything with because we couldn't buy cards or make a new deck. Chompers! Yes. Chompers! Who's got chompers? I think you have chompers. I do have chompers. Yeah. They're hard to see, but I've got little teethas. He's got teethies. I got little teethies. Oh my chomp, god, she's dressed like Dark Magician Girl. Oh I my love god, her. that's so cute. Yeah, see, we, we got- We got oh that god. many- We got five new packs that we couldn't do anything with. That's bullshit. We're buying one of each. Okay, let's get all of them. Shadow and Infinity, that's a real- Okay, I actually- My parents bought me that- That mm -hmm. one right there. They bought me, like, the actual box set. With those, with those cards and everything like that. Like, you know the metal tins? Yeah. They bought me one of those. Ooh. I remember that vividly from my childhood. Let's hey, go. Steam Gyroid. This is one of Cyrus from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX's cards. Oh, I see. I see. <gasps> oh, couldn't I? Couldn't I? I love this card when I was younger. I, I just love the oh. art. We've also got Miyabai. Ooh. Which, we probably won't put either of these cards to use, but they're nice to look at. Yeah. Prepare to strike back. Each time your opponent declares a face-up defense position monster as an attack target, toss a coin and call it. If you call it right, change the target monster to attack position. If you call it wrong, the controller of this card takes damage equal to the amount of the attack of the attacking monster is higher than the defense of the attack target. I don't think I read that even remotely close to correct towards the end there. I mean, it doesn't sound that goofy. <laughs> nah. Uh, Transcendent Not Wings. In one wing, Karibo, you control in two cards from your hand to the graveyard to special summon one wing of Karibo level 10 from your hand or deck. Which is only useful to us if we have those two specific cards, which I'm pretty sure we don't. We don't. Full Salvo. When this card resolves, send your entire hand to your graveyard and inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each card you send to the graveyard by this effect. You know, that would be really good to pair with uh, Slifer. 
Oh, yeah? Yes. Wait. Because I believe with Slifer, there's no limit to the amount of cards you can have in your hand. And the more cards you get, the more attack he has. Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah, So it's good yeah. as, like, a last-ditch effort to try and win a duel if you're just not doing- if you're just not doing it. Yeah. Ancient Gear Drill. Activate only while you have a face-up Ancient Gear Monster, which we have one, our beautiful, lovely Ancient Gear Soldier. Um, discard one card from your hand, select one spell from your deck, and set it. You cannot use that spell card this turn. That's not useful for us. You know what's really funny? What's up? Um, I'm watch since I'm watching Arc Five right now. Mm -hmm. Um, you know that whole thing about dimensions and stuff. Yes. Like, okay, so apparently the fusion dimension has things called like the Obelisk Force. Uh huh. And like they're the they're like, yeah, <laughs> because they're from Dual Academy. Oh, from GX. Yes. Because like they have the Dual Academy in Five Ds, but it's not the same thing. Yeah, like. So they call it Dual Academy, but it's just not. It's not like it's it not. doesn't have the legs. So they have the red and blue uniforms. However, those are moreover just like boys that wear the blue uniform and girls wear the red uniform. That's lame as fuck. Isn't it just? I would I would wear that blue uniform. They would make me wear the red, but it's like no, blue has always been my thing. You're telling I me I can't wear blue. One. Like if we were in Dual Academy, I would want to be a slifer red. Less effort. Uh, I see, I see. I've always just been a, a blue baby. I like blue baby. Fair and true. Fair and valid. Because I don't anyways, know. like, in, in the in the canon of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, you can move your way up through the door, and Cyrus does it. He starts off in Slifer Red, moves up to uh, Raw Yellow in the second season, and by season three, he's Obelisk Blue. Wait, isn't it the reason that, like, Slifer's the lowest and Obelisk is the highest is because Kaiba had Obelisk yes. and yu gi had oh. That's so stupid. Isn't it just? Oh my god. Well, I the so Academy petty. in 5 Ds is just an English dub thing. That's why in Arc V it's actually a reference to GX. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Mm. That's fair. Because um, I, um, I think... Because I know Aster Phoenix and Alexis show up later. Mm -hmm. And I think they're involved with it somehow. But Dual Academy is where they make uh, child soldiers. And then, so the ones from the Obelisk Force who are members of that, um... Members of that group, um, mm -hmm. they use, um, they use an ancient gear deck. And so, <laughs> it's stupid because they have, like, they try to attack people by, um, with these things called ancient gear dogs. Yeah. And they'll just come up at you and they'll, like, summon their dogs to attack you. Oh my god, let and loose the dogs of war, y'all. <laughs> that's all I wanted to bring up. <laughs> I'm sorry that I got into, like, a, a no, weird no, that's tangent fair. thing there. That's fair. <laughs> I just like talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, it's my favorite. Heck yeah. I know I gotta watch it at ooh, some ooh. point. So in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, they have like knockoffs of the Egyptian card, god cards. Mm -hmm. Um, So the one for Slifer is Uriah. Now keep this in Uriah? mind. Uriah? So, Uriah. So um, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh! tin that you can buy that's like 20 bucks. And it's got Dark Magician and Blue Eyes White Dragon on it. And it's, uh, mm. it's, it's like a gold metal tin. I have two of them now. I bought one myself and then I got one from one of my friends for Christmas. So what mm. should be the best card I pull in that but Uriah? And then guess what the Nova got me for Christmas? What did Nova get She got me the fucking Slifer deck. <laughs> so now I have Uriah and Slifer. Hey, you don't even have Obus I don't. You know what's fucked up? Okay, so there's a Slifer deck and there's an Obelisk deck, but there's no Raw deck. What? I know! You, they all have to do- okay. So between the three, my favorite one is Raw, actually. That's fair. And you remember when, um, cause you played Sacred Cards. Yes. So like, you know that you can't, like, when you get Winged Dragon and Raw, you cannot duel with yeah, it. Yeah, because that's the end of the game. Mm -hmm. Did I Isn't finish that fucked that up? Did you finish it? Did I? I can't remember. Hang on, I, I gotta check either. my YouTube really quick. Did I ever finish that game? Because oh if not, god. I'm playing it this week. Oh my god, can I join you for that? Of course! I don't oh, remember yeah, if I go. fucking finished it. <laughs> That's really bothering me. Uh, I wanna... Let's see, let's see. Where is my sacred cards? I didn't finish it. I oh, only no. had a- I had a hour and 15 minute video of it. I, did, I don't think I finished it. <laughs> 
Oh no! I'm definitely gonna check the end of that video to see if I finished it or not, but I'm pretty sure I did not. How long, wait, I'm trying to think, how long did it take me to finish? I think it took me like three hours? Yeah, it didn't take you terribly long, but you're also very good at that game. Oh, I don't yeah, think I've I kinda, lost yet. Uh, unless I have. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But it's kind of fucked up of me if I started it and didn't finish. Wow. Especially since it's like such a short Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I might have forgotten it's to finish it is probably what happened. Like, I just got into a weird mental rut. Yeah, because it was like closing in on the holidays and you were yep. gonna leave to go snowball and everything yep, so and that, I, that I, my seasonal depression has been kicking my ass since oh, yeah, i think real. december if not a little bit before I that. yeah so i've been suffering um i'm finally getting out of it though so that's good yay let's go let's go but yeah later this week i will definitely be playing sacred cards if i didn't finish it already because i feel bad about that now oh ooh. Oh, right. We were reading our new cards. Uh, we'll probably yeah. end it after we look at these and decide if we want to add any of them to the deck. Because we've, we've been playing for about an hour and 20 minutes. Got you. Next to be lost. Selects one face-up monster you control. Send one card from your deck to the graveyard with the same name as the selected card, which I don't think will do us any good. And... Hey, Ancient Gear! While you control oh. a phase of ancient gear, you can special summon this card from your hand to attack position, which isn't great. It's only got 100 yeah. attack. Yeah, wh what are you supposed to do? An oh, wait. Ancient okay. gear castle? This will go great with our ancient gear knight. Oh my god. Face up ancient gear monsters gain 300 attack. Oh, that's whenever this is useful. Um, okay. Each time a monster is normal summoned or set, put one counter on this card. If you tribute summon an ancient gear monster, you contribute this card for a tribute. If the number of counters is equal to or greater than the number of required tributes. Um, I think that is more in, in line with Ancient Gear Golem, who is pretty much like the crux of the Ancient Gear decks. Uh -huh. I only know this because one of my least favorite characters in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX has an Ancient Gear deck. Oh, it's, are they um, a bad guy? Cro Cro Crowler? Professor Crowler? Oh. I think that his uh, his sub name, like his uh, actual canon name, is Professor Kronos, like Professor Time. Oh, okay, okay. Or Kronos isn't really time, but it's um, Kronos is the god of time, or maybe he was a titan. He was a titan in Greek mythology. Mm -hmm. What not looking Crowler? Understandable. I just don't enjoy Crowler's design. <laughs> is primarily it. <laughs> is that is that the one that uh, gets J mad at Jaden in the first episode? Yep, yep. Jane's okay, first okay. duel in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Oh yeah, his, his like test duel to get in. Mm -hmm. His yeah, exam yeah, duel. Yeah, I don't much care for Crowler. Uh, I see. Destiny yeah. Hero Dasher! Oh my god, we got a Destiny Hero! Oh, Destiny. Did you want to run Destiny Heroes? And I am going to put together a different type of hero decks. Uh -huh. um, just because I've never run a hero deck, but I love Jaden, he's my favorite. Um, his heroes are not the destiny heroes. He has elemental heroes, and then he has Neo yeah. He also has dark heroes. The character with destiny heroes is actually Aster Phoenix. Because his dad oh. is the one that came up with the destiny hero line. Fun fact. Interesting, interesting. Common souls. Select one face-up monster on the field to activate this card. Oh, this is for Neo Spatians. A uh, special summon one Neo Spatian monster from your hand to the same side of the field as the selected monster. The selected monster gains attack to equal to the attack of the monster that was special summoned by this effect. When this card is removed from the field, return the monster that was special summoned by this card's effect to the hand. Fossil Excavation. Why do I feel like these are just GX cards? Um... I think it is, because look, look at the card pack. I think these card packs are all uh, GX based. Probably. So because uh, this one looks like Cyber Dragon. That one's got one of the knockoff ancient, uh, Egyptian gods on it. And then this one has... I think that might be a dark hero. Or it's a destiny hero. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. But then it's also got dinos. And I don't remember if Black Sego was one of Huckleberry's... That's not his name. Hasselberry. That's or if it was the other guy. But I don't think he ran a dinosaur deck. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. He's, he's Australian. He's got a crocodile on his back, but I can't remember if he fucking runs a dinosaur deck or not. I know for a fact Hasselberry does. 
This one's a Six Samurai. She ends Castle of the Mist. I actually have this. Jim Crocodile, Cleric Grand Fossils. Oh, um, so he also runs dinosaurs. Ritual Sealing. Destroy one face-up ritual monster on the field, which isn't very useful. You don't see ritual monsters too often. Yeah, no. She ends Foot Soldier and Elemental Her Hero Air Neos. He's the one on the pack! Wow. Oh my god, we got the pack for Let's go! Let's Go. Let's go. He's Elemental Hero Neos and Neospatian Air Hummingbird, but we don't have either of those. Yeah. A snake. Oh. Symbols of duty. Send one normal monster you control to the graveyard. Select the special. Select and special summon one monster from either graveyard and equip it with this card. When this card is removed from the field, destroy the equipped monster. Okay. Venom burn. Select one mo monster with venom counter. Revert, remove all venom counters from that card and inflict 700 damage to your opponent for each venom counter removed. Mm -hmm. So that's for running a very specific kind of deck. Yeah. Which goes well with this venom hunter. serpent. Chrysalis larva, that's kind of cute. Who ran the chrysalis cards in GX? Wasn't there somebody that ran them? Uh, this seems like it goes with the Neospatians. Oh, okay. So but isn't there like a crystal beast or something like that in there too? There is the crystal beast. Um, that would be Jesse. Oh, um, okay, okay. But this is not a crystal crystal beast. Okay. This seems, yeah, this seems to go in line with the Neo Spatian. So this would be in Jaden's second deck. Oh. That he gets later in season two. But uh, yeah. So I don't think we saw any cards that we wanted to add to our yeah. deck. We can mm. do another poll if we wanted, really quick. Yes, yes. Which, like, I... which of those do we like the best? Or is there Actually, even an oldie but goldie that we wanted to pull from? What was the, that, wait, what was the one with the magicians on it? The one that we tried pulling from before? Or like... Uh, we have tried I... pulling from all three Dark Revelations. Or we've pulled from Dark Beginning, but I think you're wanting the Dark Revelations. Mm. It seems like the one we pulled the is most it... from was Volume 1. But let's do a yeah, quick scrub. We should... uh, nope, that's the, those are the only ones with magicians on them. Okay. Um, cause like I'm trying to look, cause like I I love magician cards. Mm -hmm. Like I I'm I'm a very much a spellcaster kind of bitch. Yes. Like that's me. I'm well aware. So it's like, so like I kind of want some spellcasters, mm -hmm. but like you 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 should decide. You should decide what we. No pick. no. Uh, we'll both like... pick a pack. How about that? Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And we'll get so... two or three from each. Because we can afford it. Oh yeah, let's go! 14 cards! <laughs> so do you want so, volume 1 or volume 2? I'll do- I'll do volume 1. I'll do volume 1. We'll go with a healthy 3 for each. I want- you know what? I think I want Strike of Neos. So those are our okay. cards. Let's go! Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a Union Rider, which it seems we already have. Draw a robber. You can only activate this card when Pot of Greed is activated. Negate the effect of really the get Pot of Greed and draw one card from your deck. Yeah. We don't even have Pot yeah, of Greed. Yeah, we don't. If we get Breaking Flamberge... Flamberge? I don't know. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard to equip this card. Increase the attack of a monster equipped with this card by 500 points. If a monster equipped with this card destroys a monster as a result of battle, the effect of that monster is negated. Gravekeeper Spy. Gravekeepers! I actually had- my parents also bought me, a uh, one of the Gravekeeper tins for Christmas, Ooh. I remember. Uh, I remember a long time ago there was a Merrick structure deck, and it was just yeah. pretty much all Gravekeepers. And a Mystic Tomato. Mystic Tomato, I why? Mystic Tomato. I don't like Mystic Tomato at all, so I feel you. It's Chaos Command Wait. Magician. Ooh, ooh. I mean, negate the card effect of a monster card that targets. Oh, no, no. I, I saw that. It just says target this one first. So that's kind of. Meh. Also, I see we had Neck. We, we managed to roll Necro Valley. Oh, we did. Like, yeah, if you, it's one down. Oh, there it is. Neato. Look at us go. We're getting lucky oh, today. Shit. Where are you at? Where are you at? You can only activate this card when your opponent declares an attack with a monster on his or her side of the field that has been tribute summoned or set. Destroy all face-up attack position monsters on your opponent's side of the field and inflict 1,000 points of damage to your opponent's life points. 
That is a very specific um, card. Yeah, I'm not vibing. It's not a vibe. Contract with Exodia! Whoa, 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 whoa! You can only whoa, activate whoa, this whoa. when you have Exodia the Forbidden One right in your graveyard. Special summon Wait. one Exodia Necros from your hand. You know what sucks? We only have like two pieces of Exodia, I think, and they're duplicates. Wait, hold up. Where, which pack contains Exodia? The first I'm, pack? I'm curious now. I want some Exodia cards. We Holy can, shit! We can, I we can do one more Exodia. poll after after we finish looking through these. Well, I I hope we get Exodia. I really want Exodia. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent's life points, you can you can select and activate one of the following effects: add one card that includes Dark Scorpion in its name, or is named Cliff the Trap. Whoops, Cliff the Trap Remover from your deck to your hand. Add one card. I don't think that's going to be helpful for us. Yeah, no, we don't have any Banner of, those. of Courage. Oh, I love Banner of Courage. I we love We will definitely this card. add that to the deck, I think. Yes. Amazonas Spellcaster. Until the end of the turn, switch the original attack of one face up monster from your side of the field. That includes. Oh, we don't have any Amazons. Yeah. Spell Reproduction. Send two spell cards from your hand to the graveyard. Select one spell card from your graveyard and add it to your hand. I don't know. <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh, another Amazon. Oh. Winged Sage Fal Falcross. Falcross. You return your opponent's face up attack position monster that is sent to the graveyard by this monster as a result. Why would you want that? Yeah. And Necro Valley. And yes. uh, we're into my cards now. Uh, if this card is discarded from the hand to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, but that's from the hand to the graveyard. Special yeah. summon this card. If this card is special, summon this way. Destroy all monsters or all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Which, that is a very nice effect, but yeah. it, it is only the specific stipulation that it is discarded from the hand. By Otherwise, it's pretty useless. Yeah. Like, you need your opponent to do that, so it's yep. like, you can't really control it. And there's not too many cards that do that. Yeah, that's pretty lame. A-Cell Scatterburst. Select one face-up alien it. monster you control, destroy it, and distribute new A one, counters though? equal to its level amongst your opponent's face-up monsters. Uh, hmm. I don't know what that would help. Yeah, we don't six really have samurai. any. We don't have any six- well, there's another six samurai, but- and another one. That's duplicate. Oh, hey, Marionette Might! Oh, this one's fucked up. Oh, uh, you can discard this thing. card to the graveyard. Yeah, that is heavily dependent on the fact that you're facing somebody who's using Fiend or Zombies. Yeah, I like there's it... a very good chance for it. This reminds- this card, the way that it looks- you ever watch that movie Nine? With the dolls? No! But like, I, it's something that has been locked in my childhood <laughs> of me really wanting to watch it. I think it. it's on Netflix. But that same Oh my god, you want to watch it? I later? love Nine. I'm always down to watch it. But I, this I, definitely I, reminds me of something that's in that movie. The way that this okay. looks. I, I just don't like the way it looks. There's something about it that's just like so creepy. I don't mm -hmm. like it. Another six samurais. Legendary Ebon Steed. This is a six samurai card. Cloak and Dagger. <laughs> that's a good show. Um, declare one monster card name. If your opponent normal summons, special summons, or flips that monster face up, remove that monster and this card from play. Ooh, that's oh very God, specific. Wait. How are we gonna know the monster name know. that we need to Diddy go? Crow. These are from wait. Crow's deck. What? Uh, what? Crow uses DD Crows. Or DDs, oh, I think. I don't know he did. That uh, was go Crow. Yeah. During yeah, the player's turn, you can discard there. this card to the graveyard to remove from play one card from your opponent's graveyard. Wait, what the hell? Gorilla of the Dark World. If this card is discarded from the hand to the graveyard by a card effect, destroy one monster on the field. Flashbang. Activate only after damage calculation when a monster your opponent controls made a direct attack. It is now the end phase of this turn. What? Oh, so it cancels out. So, like, if they have multiple monsters, the first one that does the attack after you activate this, you still take the damage from the first monster, but then the turn ends, oh. and they can't... Oh, I'm glad so that made sense to you. It's, like, it's the same effect as um the Unhappy Maiden. Mm. I don't know if... Uh, that's, like, one of my most favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! Yep, cards. Yep, she's in her deck. That. Yes, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we got. Okay. 
So we wanted to do a poll on this first pack, which is why we have 46% of this one collected oh, already. Oh, no wonder! No <laughs> wonder! we were Let's trying go. to get Exodia. Let's keep rolling Exodias! Please, I beg, I beg, Exodia? You know what, we're Exodia? gonna get six of these. Because we already yeah, pulled yeah. Six, six packs. More Exodia, Exodia. please. Exodia, I didn't let's go! Oh, wait, wait. Oh, we're what? Final Destiny. Wow, Big Shield Guardian. Oh wow, only two new cards in that entire pack for that one. Ew, Hain Hain! I hate Hain Hain! Yeah. Hain Hain gives me bad memories. Yep. Final Destiny. Discard five cards from your hand, destroy all cards on the field. That could be useful, but also all cards? What about our cards? You might- if you want to destroy all cards, you could just use Black Hole. Oh, for real. Like, uh, I don't- I mean, really? for a four star, having that good of a defense. Yeah, however, that's very negate the activation of any spell card that targets this one face down monster. At that time, flip this card into face up defense position. If this card is attacked, change it to attack position at the end of. Yeah, I don't like that though. Yeah, no, kind of not works. Yeah. Yeah. Magic drain. Negate the activation of an opponent's spell card and destroy it. Your opponent can discard one spell card to negate this card's effect. That's lame. Mm -hmm. Why would they be able to stop it? Why give them the choice? Yeah. Hey, no. Light of intervention. Monster cards cannot be set down face cannot be set face down monsters set in defense position or normal summon in face up defense position. Hmm. Um, eh. We already have some of that. Joke. Fuck you, Hain Hain. Luminous Spark. Increase the attack of all light monsters by five hundred and decrease their defense by four hundred. I don't know that we oh. have enough light monsters for this to be useful. Yeah, I love light monsters, but like mm -hmm. Chain Destruction. Activate only when a monster with 2,000 attack or less is summoned. Destroy all monsters with the same name in its controller's hand or deck. Neat. Oh. Hello, Beal. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good Hi. day. Uh, we are currently pulling to see if we can get any more Exodia pieces, and then after that we're probably going to end stream. Yeah. I just- I want Exodia so badly. Me too. Where did they go? Solemn okay. Wishes. Oh, we didn't have one of these already? Increase your life points by 500 points each time you draw a card or cards. I would like to have oh, this in our deck. This is one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, I'm down with adding it. Cheerful Coffin. Discard up to three monster cards from your hand to the graveyard. For, for Oh, what? for some for some of those cards that say, oh, hey, yep. if you get rid of this card from the hands of the graveyard, you True enough, true enough. Buster Blader. Wow, wow, that is a high-level monster. This card gains 500 attack for each dragon-type monster on your opponent's side of the field. Or in their graveyard, but that is very specific. That's specific. Hey, Magician of Faith. Did we not have oh. one of these already? I thought we did. Okay. But now we have it. Yep. Sanga of the oh. Thunder. You can only activate this card's effect during your opponent's damage calculation. Make the attack of a monster attacking this card zero during damage calculation. This effect can only be used once as long as this card remains face up on the field. So if this monster gets attacked, you can instantly make it to where your opponent's gonna take damage instead of you because their monster yeah. will have a zero attack. And it would destroy them as well because their attack would be zero. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's pretty. Yeah. That's actually pretty good for the high it attack. Is. You're only they're only gonna have like one card. Ooh, that would be I see a that. card here that I'm excited about. Ooh, ooh, go go for it. Uh, Hinotama inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points. We have another horn of the unicorn. Nice. Labyrinth Wall. That's a good defense, but for a level 5? Uh, yeah. Summon Skull! I hey. love this guy. I just think he's neat. Wait, wait till he's a pretty neat card. That's what you use to defeat uh, Weevil the first time during um, mm -hmm. freaking duel. Let's go. Another Magic Drain. Oh, Mahavilo! Increase the attack of this card by 500 points for each equipped card equipped to this card. Ooh, we have lots of those. We, we could really stack if you think about it. Because if it's 500 <laughs> for each equip, think about it. Uh, like, let's assume that, I don't know, M Malevolent Nuzzler gets equipped onto Mahavilo, right? Yeah. That's 700 plus the 500. And then, like, Horn of the Unicorn, if we could do that as well. Yeah, that's 700 plus an extra 500. Big bang shot? A big bang shot! Oh my god! Essentially, that's like, we just build ourselves a fucking tank here. That's that's the <laughs> that's the destroyer right there. That's mm. the destruction. We could what are you him. thinking? I'm I'm down. I'm down. Spellcaster too. Just Spell build a little silly Spell little goofy. Yeah, for the ha ha's, and oh, the attack ha -ha. isn't that bad without it too. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's pretty decent. Uh, yeah. 
chosen one. Select one monster card and two non-monster cards from your hand. Your opponent randomly selects one card among them. If it is a monster card, it is special summoned and send the remaining two cards to the graveyard. If not, send all cards to the graveyard. That's lame. Yeah, that's pretty lame. Not Parasite, followed. Parasite. Wow. Oh, I have bad memories about this one. Hmm. This is from Sacred Cards. Put this like card there's... face up in your opponent's deck and shuffle it. When the opponent draws this card, it is special summoned to their side of the field in face of defense position and inflicts 1,000 damage to them. Then, while this card is face up on the field, all monsters your opponent controls become insect type. Yeah. Hmm. I think even cards like Call of the Haunted count from Mahavilo. Ooh. So, Whoa. like, it doesn't even have to be, like, equip in the sense that we were talking about. It can just be oh. any mod, any card that is equipped to it. Dang. So we can bring it back, and it'll already have 500 extra mm -hmm. points. That'll put it up That's to 2,000 cool. already. That's good. Man, that card is a fucking monster. It is going in the deck. Hell yeah. Can't wait for another big banger right here. Mm -hmm. Painful choice. Select five cards from your deck and show them to your opponent. Your opponent selects one card among them. Add that card to your hand and discard the remaining cards in the graveyard. Oh, you know what a really funny thing about this is? Hmm. So, I was watching uh, Major Duncan, one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite, like, Let's Players from my favorite Let's Player group. Um, he was playing through a Legacy of the Duelist. He was trying to speedrun it. Yeah. And the way you would speedrun it is that you would have an Exodia deck. And then you would, like, um, one turn kill them. And, um, the thing about Painful Choice was that he was able to, um, there's a, uh, thing where, like, if you use Painful Choice, mm -hmm. and you have, like, one monster card and the rest of them are, like, spells and traps, the AI will automatically pick the monster. Oh, so wow. it'll help you, like, get to Exodia faster, because you could just pick one of the pieces, mm -hmm. and then the rest of them be spells and traps. Oh, that's pretty neat. Also, do yeah. we want Banner of Courage? I- yes. Okay. Yes. To the deck! Also, Banner and Courage would be an equip, so Mahavilo, mm -hmm. like, that's, that's a good benefit. Yes. But what are we getting rid of? Oh, or, right. no, we could just add- Yeah, because we can have up to 60 cards. And we're yeah. only adding in a couple. Seriously, though, why do we keep getting Toon Monsters but no fucking Toon World? Like, I'm sick of it. <laughs> Exactly. Like, let us get, let us be toony. No, she wasn't. I don't. Bubonic I don't vermin. Like her... That is a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting about a lot of the cards that we have. Looking at it, I was like, that's a bubonic vermin. That's silly. And you look at it, it's, it's literally hamster. just a hamster. Literally. I'm well, still so mad that we don't get to use it. this. I'm pissed. All right, but. Kuro's card, man. We don't even get to use it. Also, I just thought about it. Bakura is like peak, like soft, sad boy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like even even his chosen monster is like soft, sad boy aesthetic. I love it. God, I want Bakura's gender. Like, look at Tulpa. Mm -hmm. Look at him there. He already kind of looks like yeah. him. Just, just steal it. You can just steal it from him. <laughs> what hasn't already been taken? What already hasn't been taken from Bakura? True enough. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the crazy, the possession. Oh, damn. The one thing he needed to get rid of. Yeah, and I didn't take it. <laughs> I'm just going through here trying to remember what we said we wanted. Uh, Maha Vilo. Um, yes. we already added Banner Courage. Um. Wait, wait. Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Could you go up to Fairy and Meteor Crush? Can I read that? Yes. Oh, wait, we already have we one in the deck. Never mind. Deck. Okay, yeah, never mind. Oh, wait, right. does it that let you just organize and show off only the new ones? Oh, you know what? I think it does. Let me see if I can figure out how to do that. Nope, not ABC. Yep, here it is. New cards. There you go. Now we only could look at those. Just kidding. Oh, you wanted to add solemn wishes. Yes, I did. I that. Thank you for remembering, because I sure as hell didn't. Oh, right! She's banned! Oh! We can't use her anyway. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Mahavilo is now in the deck. <laughs> we will destroy. I'm so excited to destroy with Mahavilo. Mm hmm.
Mom's not in it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Oh, painful choices banned. Oh my god, no! We can't run the Exodia. <laughs> nope. Damn it! One turn KO in this bitch. Damn. Damn. They really so just like out here saying you can't do shit, dog. They're like no fun allowed. No fun allowed. You know what? You know what I just realized would be insanely fucked up. Hmm. So what if like the arms and legs of Exodia weren't banned, but the head of Exodia is banned? <laughs> that would be so fucked up. It's like we spend all this time like spending and oh, rolling, okay. and then We've we finally get cards. Yeah. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot that we wanted. Okay. I do want to see how many pieces of Exodia we have, though. I do forget. It would be called like right leg and left leg and You're all right. that. So we'd You're have right. an RNL. Yeah, we have the left leg. We have two of the left leg, in fact. <laughs> so funny. And then do we at least have like the right leg or something? Or like uh, the, we right have the right arm? We have the right leg. Oh, right leg! Let's go, we got the legs! Do we have the head? It would just be Exodia then. Yeah, so we don't have it. Yeah, no. Wait. At least we got the legs. At least, at least Exodia could walk. We also do not have Harpy's Feather Duster. Dang, that makes me really sad. Yeah, I hope we get too. it at some point. So do I. Um, wait, can I see Hysteric Fairy real quick? Wait, hysteric wait, Fairy, hysteric. offer two monsters on your side of the field as a tribute to increase your life points by 1,000 points. Oh, never mind, never mind then. Yeah, no, I think we considered putting Hysteric Fairy in there at least once or twice. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that's gonna be it for today. Yes. Thank you guys so much for joining us. It was a lot of fun. Um, and when weirdly smoothly considering all the past streams of this game. Yeah, like all our streams have had some sort of gigantic struggle. Like we had three huge hurdles beforehand, and now we're just like, whatever. Smooth sailing today. Hopefully, um, it stays like that. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> Uh, I am going to be playing Sacred Cards again. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check and see if I finished it first and foremost, and if I didn't, then I'm gonna be playing it again sometime this week. It to be yeah. determined later. TBA. TBD. Oh, um, to be determined. But yeah, you may should be streaming tomorrow. Code Blood. Yeah. Yet? Yes. Blood Code as always. That's it. Like, but like, bro, I'm so close to being done with the game. Cause like I I think I only have like three more months of the game left and then the game is done, Ooh. and so I'm like, what the hell do I play after this? That's a good question, honestly. <laughs> What's really funny is that both Blood Code and Bug Snacks are within the same like stream of it's going to be vin finished very soon. Oh, Cause I know. You, did you get any games yeah. for Christmas? From um, our good pal. Yes, I got a game from K on Christmas. I got Oz Mafia. Osmosia. And yeah, wait, you haven't heard of Osmosia? I have not. Oh my god, they made an anime of it and everything. I'm surprised. Someone's like a one of the more popular Otome games. Oh, I live under a rock, but you can play that. Oh, I I'm I'm thinking about it, and like, cause um I remember I was talking to Elio about it before. Like the reason why I stopped streaming Brilliant Diamond, and he was like, you know, just because someone gifts you a game doesn't mean you have to play it. You could just that enjoy it on your own time. That is true. So it's like, I don't want Osmafia to turn into like less of I'm having fun just playing the game mm -hmm. and more of like me struggling like I did with Brilliant Diamond because yeah. Brilliant Diamond was a gift from my sister. Mm -hmm. And so like, I want to enjoy Kay's gift as Kay's gift. Fair unless he, unless he asked me specifically, hey, can you stream this game? In which case, I'd be more than happy to stream it. But I don't want to like, I don't want to take Kay's present. And like twist it and then make it unenjoyable mm. for myself. That's a good way like... to look at it. Um, I'm completely different on my stance on the games that Kay gave me because he gave me give it, getting over it and Tattletale for Christmas, and those oh, were two yeah. games I was already planning on streaming at some point. Hell yeah! So I was Dude. very happy to receive them. I was like, oh hell yeah, let's go! Oh my god, the fact that the games you got was getting, <laughs> bro. Like I was already gonna buy that one for myself at some point, but I'm I'm very grateful for the gift from K. I was very grateful for both games, because I've been wanting to play oh, yeah. them both for ages. But I also thought that'd be fun to stream because uh, my audience seems to enjoy seeing me scared or upset. Damn, K really did that to you. He really did. 
He gave them more content. Everybody say thank Me. you, Kay. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Kay. Now I can be funny without effort. Yeah. Oh, shit. You don't like think about it. You're right. <laughs> I'm just funnier whenever I'm scared, I guess. Dude, you're always funny. You just don't ever realize it. Thank you. It's very sweet. I think you're funny all the time, too. I love I love watching your streams. Oh! <laughs> and since since I'm home, since I'm home, I can do it. I can watch your streams again. Oh my god, yay. Because the last Let's time go. you streamed, I was trapped in a car. <laughs> oh yeah, wait, was that when I was- okay. I don't remember um, what- I think it was Bug Snacks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, you were there for that, because you were playing Getting Over With. Oh, oh. Get it, Getting Over It. When remember? Was it? Yeah. When yeah, was that, was... that was- that was last week. Blood Code was right before that, you might have been talking about that. Oh I yeah, no, I popped in like... and I said hi, and I said, hey, I'm in the car, so I'm just popping in for a second. Oh, yeah! That's right. It was blood code. Code. Yeah, blood code. Oh my gosh. Yep. If you if you did, I'll, I'll make it extra exciting for you when I stream it tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta extra do that, me. I already came in at a weird point because I missed the beginning of it, but I'm still happy to be watching it regardless. Cause it's you. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. But yeah, uh, definitely we, I will, if you want help figuring out what to stream after you finish up Blood Code, uh, reach out. I'll help you pick out a game if you need it. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's it from us for today. I probably won't be streaming, but you may definitely is tomorrow. I've dropped their link in the chat if you want to go check them out. They're awesome. Love them to bits. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Of course. Of course. Uh, yeah. So that's it for tonight. I hope everybody had a fun time and I hope you all uh, take good care of yourselves. You know, drink some water, get some food if you need to, take any vitamins or medication that you might need to mm -hmm. take if you have forgotten to take them or just haven't taken them yet. Uh, please remember to, that's very important. Um, but just in general, take care and we will see you guys next time. Good night, goodbye, good morning. Goodbye. <laughs> <Or>, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Good.